Hey y'all, it's Katie and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be looking at two different MyZone heart rate monitors, the MZ1 and the MZ3, and we'll be looking at five key components of these trackers. So here we go. I wanted to say hello here because if you're new to my channel, maybe I haven't had a chance to introduce myself. I am Katie. I am a personal trainer and I do lots of these tech reviews as well as different fitness education videos. So you can check out those on my channel a little bit later, but we'll dive into these MyZone bands. So a lot of people are used to activity trackers like watches. I know I have the Apple Watch. Um, but these are a little bit different because these are specifically heart rate monitors. So obviously this is not a watch. This is another specific type of tracker called a chest strap. So just like it sounds, it goes around the chest. So you'll wear it right below the sternum. So these electrodes have to be against your skin. So especially for ladies, it beeped at me. So <laughs> for ladies, it's nice to tuck it underneath your bra strap just to make sure it stays snug against your skin there. And because it, the electrodes are literally right close to the heart, they're supposed to be just a little bit more accurate than activity trackers like a watch. But the accuracy percentage is literally in the decimal points, so it's not that much more accurate than your watch. So my zone specifically has these two chest straps, the MZ1, the MZ3, as well as a new product called the MZ Switch that came out March 2021. And I don't have that one, so I won't be reviewing it today, but I have several friends that have it, and they say it's really neat because you're able to switch it from chest strap, you can put it around your upper arm or you can wear it as a watch as well. So if you have an MZ switch, go ahead and let me know what you think of it in the comments below. So we're obviously going to be talking about these two today. And first off, we need to define what the biggest difference is between the MZ1 and the MZ3. The first noticeable thing is that the MZ3 is a little bit larger in size than that MZ1. But one of my favorite things about these is that you can pop off the actual MZ1 or 3 and these straps are interchangeable. But the largest difference between the two of these are battery and internal memory. The MZ1 has a disposable battery and it has to be connected to Bluetooth in order to track your workout. And the MZ3 has a rechargeable battery and 16 hours of internal memory. So it'll log its workouts off of Bluetooth and then once you connect it to your phone, it'll sync to the app and download all of those workouts for you. So I got my MZ1 back in 2020 and then I upgraded to the MZ3 last March before my Spartan race because I couldn't take my phone on the Spartan course with me. So I wanted to have that internal memory option with the MZ3 so that I could track my Spartan race, leave my phone on the sidelines and come back to it and be able to download that whole workout later. So you could run like a whole marathon in that bad boy and be totally fine. So as we move into these key features, I'll be using the MZ3 as my reference just because it's the most updated version. So our first key feature here is battery life. So the MZ3 is rechargeable and it has a really great battery life. Depending on how often you use it throughout the week, it can last between six and seven months. For me personally, I wear it about five days a week and I go about six months between charges. So it's pretty great. Tanner wanted to say hello. You sleep in my smelly bands? Yeah. Hi. You should be glad this isn't smell -a YouTube because those bands get really nasty after a little while. That's a good side point. The straps can get pretty gross after a while, so every week or two you can take the little MyZone device off and then you can wash this in the sink. So you can wash it with normal detergent, but just beware, try to keep water out of the little electrodes when you're washing it. So that's why you do it by hand, just to make sure that you keep it as dry as possible in there. Um, but otherwise you can wash it just like anything else. The electrodes here can get wet and they're totally fine. But moving on to key feature two, the MyZone app. This app is super easy to navigate and it has super intuitive buttons at the bottom. You start with a very clean dashboard and then you have a profile for yourself that has all your metrics and info, all your workout data. And then you can click into your workout area that has all of your active workout information. So that's where you'll go when you want to see your live heart rate as you're working out. And you can even click into different MyZone classes that they have available throughout the day. And then it has a notifications page where you can get involved with your community a little more. And finally, it has a fun little navigation menu that has all kinds of different fun features. So let's look at that profile first with our third key feature, metrics. <laughs> Why are you licking me? So it has a really fun little metrics section where you can log your weight, your body fat percentage. You can even log your basal metabolic rate if you know that. There are a ton of different metrics you can load in there. And probably my favorite metric of all it calculates for you is that max heart rate. 
The fun thing about the MyZone app, and as you use the MyZone device, it's going to go ahead and update that max heart rate for you. So if you work out and you're getting up into those maximal levels, let's say estimated your max heart rate was a little on the low side, then as you work out and you reach your maximal, it'll reach 100% and then it'll realize, oh, this isn't your real max. We're gonna readjust that to your real max. So it'll adapt and change, becoming more accurate as you use it. So for me personally, whenever I do my in-body scan, which is about every three months, I'll go ahead and load all that information into my MyZone app that helps keep it up to date and keep it accurate as I use it. And an honorable mention here is the MyZone fitness test. This test is a really fun little graded exercise test where it takes you through specific percentages and it keeps you there for a specific amount of time. And then at the end of the test, it measures your heart rate and sees how well your heart rate is able to recover after those higher intensities of exercise. So speaking of heart rate intensities, let's look at that fourth key feature, which is workout tracking. So as you're working out, it'll show you a display with four different metrics on it. It'll have heart rate, heart rate percentage, calorie burn, and time that you've worked out. And one of the most specific features of MyZone is that as you're working out, your heart rate percentage will display with a specific color associated with it. Each of these zones are also associated with a certain amount of MEPS or MyZone effort points, which are also awarded for what we're gonna get into later with some gamification. But I love that they have the colors associated with the intensities because if your phone is propped up way across the room and you wanna know what intensity you're at, you can just glance over, see the color and know. Plus it has a really great workout summary on the app as well. So you can scroll through and you can see exactly where your heart rate peaked throughout the workout. And you can see a total breakdown of how many minutes you spent in each zone. And you can share that with friends and have a good community aspect to it as well, which jumps into our fourth key point of community. The social features in the MyZone app are really cool because it's just like a social media feed. The first thing you see when you open the app, you jump into that dashboard, you scroll through it, and you can see all your friends' workouts. You can like, you can comment, wow, great effort, give them some encouragement. And it's a really easy way to connect with other people at your gym. And if your gym facility is affiliated with my zone they can even have my zone TVs up in the group exercise room like my gym does and you get to see your live heart rate broadcasted onto the TV while you're exercising in the class so it's really fun to see what intensity you're working at and see how your friends are doing around you as well one thing I love about that it specifically shows your heart rate percentage because heart rate max is subjective to every person and so that's going to change and be different so if my heart rate max is higher than my 50 year old friend, if we were both working at 60% heart rate max, our heart rates are gonna be totally different, but that heart rate percentage is going to be the same. So we'll be working in the same zone that's shown on the screen. And the fifth key feature here is gamification. So like I mentioned earlier, we have those MEPs, which are associated with each heart rate intensity. And these MEPs are just a fun way to put a quantitative value to each workout so that you can work towards accumulating a certain amount of MEPs per month. And then you can find challenges throughout your gym or specifically with a group of friends. And you can use those MEP points in order to earn points for your teammates or against other members in those challenges. So MyZone has a typical threshold of 1300 MEPs that they challenge you to reach each month, which goes by the World Health Organization standards of physical activity for your average month. And if you're able to hit that 1300 each month, you're awarded a ranking. So these rankings are super fun too, because the longer you hold them, the higher up you can rank. So you get a fun little status ranking as you move throughout your exercise journey too. So these MyZone bands are really great. They've really put the user experience into mind when they've created these, putting different social aspects, making it fun and feel like a game as you're exercising and really providing you with the tech that you need to feel successful in the gym. So that is it for this video. If you have a MyZone band or maybe a competitor like Polar, let me know how you like them below. And make sure to let me know if you want me to review any other tech items like this in the future. So I will see you guys later. Stay healthy. Bye.